My name is Andy Quayle. I'm the third year tutor for the degree in wildlife ecology and conservation, but I teach across all three years here at University Centre Sparshall. I teach across all three years, but in various subject areas. In the first year, I teach a little bit of genetics, what we call introductory ecology, uh, some of the basic rules of ecology, how species interact, how species function. In the second year, most of my stuff tends to be things such as applied ecology, a lot of animal behaviour, a lot of the dirty tricks that animals get up to, but a lot of the good stuff like cooperation between species, symbiosis. Because I'm the third year tutor, I do quite a lot of stuff in the third year, and there we tend to get onto the bigger scale stuff such as landscape ecology, is it okay to introduce beavers into the UK, are we ever going to bring back the lynx and the wolf? The short answer is we don't know. Is Britain big enough for grizzly bears? We know the answer to that, it isn't, that type of thing. It's a very practical degree. Ecology is an outdoorsy subject. We spend a big percentage of our time actually out in the field. Uh, and where we are in Hampshire, we're really well placed for this. Down the road, we've got the New Forest. To the north of us, we've got the Chalk Downlands. Over in the west, we've got Dorset. We've got the Heaths of Purbeck. We've got all the Valley Myers in the New Forest. The New Forest is, in particular, is a site that is unique within Western Europe. Um, we spend some of the time in the classroom, but those things are always backed up with let's go out and have a look at it in the field. Some of it is actually in the lab, some of it is actually on the college estate. The college is, is based in a big working farm, we've got lots of semi-natural areas and, and we've got a variety of landscapes to look at and we get out in, in that landscape. Facilities at Sparshall, um, well, we're training ecologists. So really what we need there is we need some basic lab facilities and we need access to the habitats in which we work. What you'll be doing are things such as species identification, species surveys, recognising habitats, also learning about the ecology of species, what they do in that landscape, what are the habitats, what are the habitat management operations that are good for them. We get you out actually carrying out some of that habitat management operations um, and we think by the end of the degree, our graduates are just a little bit ahead of the field because they've got that, that practical experience. They've got that little bit of nous. The students get themselves out, out in the industry with the background information we give them, with the contacts we give them. We, we think work placements are really, really important. In each of the three years on the course, there's a three-week placement period where you go off and you work somewhere in the industry. But also there's the summer holidays, there's the Easter holidays. It's all about practical experience. OK, let's have a think about what the students have to look forward to starting in September. Um, first of all, you've got the excitement of a new place, uh, new mates, things like that. You get an introduction to the science that you're going to deal with. Um, in the early part of the term, we'll do quite a lot of field work. The important thing in the first year is species identification. You've got to know what are the names of the things in the habitats that you're, you're working with. The other things that we'll do in the first year is we start acquainting you with different types of habitats and different types of habitat management. So in the first year you'll get to work on a range of habitats that we have here in Hampshire, things such as lowland heath, ancient woodlands, um, semi-natural grasslands, chalk downlands, a little bit on the wetland habitat, you know we sometimes get sort of wet and muddy in, that, in those types of jobs. Uh, we get out at night shining torches into ponds to see what sort of wildlife is there. Um, this you know all sounds like bits of fun but actually these are the skills that you need as a practical ecologist working in the field. If you're anxious about starting a university course I'd say Sparshall is a friendly place, you get a lot of face-to-face -face contact with the teaching staff, we've got an open door policy, we deal in small classrooms and we talk to everybody within that classroom. You're not just going to be a spot in a lecture theatre or something like that, we don't really do that type of thing, it's not that sort of place. If you've got any questions or queries about the wildlife ecology and conservation course at Sparshall, you can get in touch with me, Andy Quayle, that's um, andrew.quayle at sparshall.ac.uk, or just send a general inquiry into inquiries at sparshall.ac.uk. Uh, we'll give you a call back, you can have an email if you want, we're always happy to chat about the subject.